Welcome back to Nazareth's channel, my dear YouTubers. I have an unpleasant thing that happened to my Toyota RAV4. I'm pissed off, but what can you do? Things happen, so let me show you what happened. Crack my daylight. As you see here, there's a nice crack here. It goes all the way here. It doesn't look terrible, but it's noticeable. And I'm very upset about it. So I went kayaking, camping, and this kayak wasn't secured properly or i don't know exactly what happened but it slid off when i break and it just like bam hit my taillight right here and that's what happened it hit somewhere here and the crack spread to the left and right you know as you see i don't want to drive like this so i'm going to install a replacement taillight And it shouldn't be that difficult to do. Very unpleasant situation, but I'm not gonna be stressing out about it because it nothing is damaged here. It's just this daylight right here. So I order a brand new taillights for this for my RAV4. We're gonna replace this broken one with a new one. Let me show you what product I got. So this taillight, I bought it from eBay. It's the OEM style made for Toyota, but this is the brand. It says Valeo, Valeo. And it is identical. This is the Valeo taillight. Everything matches perfectly, the same color and everything. It's a great, perfect replacement. Look in the back of this taillight. It says Toyota in a lens, housing ABS. Like everything is just like the original one. But here it says Valeo brand. I did my research, this Valeo, it's a very good company. They make good quality products for different vehicles. And uh, 56 bucks, I decided Keep it but also i bought one on amazon let me show you the one from amazon this one arrived today it came with the led already pre-installed and then the backup light also already installed oh there's no bulb in there it's just a socket i tell you right away the one from amazon looks a little bit cheaper like the plastic this look cheaper than the vallejo one Waleo one has a much better quality uh, plastic, the molding. And this one of Amazon has these unfinished uh, edges. Some plastic is here. A little bit different screws. This is more like the original one. Doesn't have a Toyota sign. Gonna remove this plastic. And I can tell you right away the difference between the Amazon one and the Valeo aftermarket. You can tell the difference. This one has these lines and this one doesn't. The original taillight has these lines. See, you have these like lines here. So when I compare this Amazon aftermarket light, it does not have these lines like this. See, you can clearly see them. These are just clear. Like they're, they're lines, but like a little bit clear. And it looks a little bit way too shiny. Like the plastics are way, way too shiny. The color matches, it looks identical, but it doesn't have these lines like the original one. I'm definitely gonna return this Amazon light. They did a good job, they tried, but it doesn't look like an original original. Even the screws are different, this plastic is different. And over here we don't have any markings, no branding. And look at these edges. Gotta like file it down or something. The one thing they did get right was the color and everything else. And I think this is also different a little bit. I decided I'm gonna install this brand, Valeo, 
it is just a just exactly like the OEM. We have these lines here. You can see these lines, even lines right here, small tiny lines. So let me show you again. See, there's a little line here. These lines are clearly visible. So I'm gonna install this Valeo. And on the OEM light, that's from Japan. You see their marking, Japan. This car was from Japan. Chikyoko. What is that? Chikyo. Chiko something. So it has this marking here. But it doesn't matter. What matters is the look on the outside. So I want to show you the OEM part it has like a little dot here these little lines and this brand Valeo Valeo has exactly the same it looks exactly the same to the last detail so I'm gonna install this unit so in order to remove this uh, inner taillight let's open the trunk we have to remove this panel all of this these handles this we have to remove this part and this part so let's start with removing these handles first now you see there's a little hole right here now I like to use my plastic trim removal tool and now you can remove this cover and we have two bolts 10 millimeter one here and one here same thing on the other side to remove these Handles, plastic cover, put them on the side. This is the left side, this is the right side. Toyota likes to use 10 millimeter uh, bolts, so I'm gonna use my 10 millimeter socket. And just remove these bolts. This one. And this one. So we remove these bolts. See, this thing is loose. Now we have to remove this panel here this panel here here so we can pull this whole unit down so just put your fingers behind here and just pull there you go this panel came off and we still have all these plastic pins all in place nothing is broken we're going to pull on this one that's the only lady loose Also, this one has like these clips. Do the same thing on this side. There you go. We got these pins in place. Now we just have to pull this whole panel down. Like this comes out fairly easy. There you go. The whole thing came out. First thing you check check for these pins. They're in place. If you break them, you can always replace them, but uh, they're all here. And so here, make sure they're all here. At one point I had to replace this one already, but all these pins are in place. Oh, very good. Now, once this panel is removed, let's look at our light. This is our uh, right passenger side inner tail light. We have a bolt here, one here and one here. These are three bolts. These are our connectors. Before we do anything, once we remove these three bolts, we also have to take this panel out. This is whole plastic trim, like this panel. It's attached by some clips and four bolts. We have to remove that because the part of the tail light is hidden over here and we won't be able to remove it unless we remove this part. Before I start removing any bolts, I'm gonna remove these connectors here this one is twist to the left and you can just remove it so i'm gonna do that and also this one and this one so I remove this connector push down on this pin and you can pull this connector off you see now it's disconnected take a 10 millimeter socket let's uh undo this bolt this one it's already loose. Then you can undo this one. 
they're not very tight at all and then they're remaining the last one yeah these bolts were not tight a 10 millimeter okay one is out under this one One more. Now this tail light is still secured by some plastic pins. We will have to pop it out of place. There's some pins here, but we'll get to that later. Now the next step. In this step, we have to remove this bolt. There's a 10 millimeter. You need a long socket. There's two, three, and four so i got this longer extension 10 millimeter and we're going to use that to go into this hole right here and then there's a bolt i loosen this bolt and i can do it by hand undo it so that's the first hole next to this tail light that's the one you need to remove and these are kind of longer ones so put them on the side one is right here next to this plastic thing undo this one and then there's a third one and then there's a fourth one now we have a last bolt that's got to come out it's right there This is the last one. So once these three bolts are removed, one, two, three, and then these four, one, two, three, four. Now we can go on the outside. Now this panel, I already feel it's loose because we removed these bolts. We have to pop it out so i'm going to start with this corner I'm just going to push it down and then pull <laughs> i couldn't record it with one hand but it's going to feel like you're going to break it but don't worry just pull it down here and push with one hand and it's going to come out now let's completely remove this panel there you go this is our panel here it's all removed sure we didn't break anything make sure we have all these clips these plastic retainer clips we have these plastic thingies everything is here now you can buy these at the auto parts store if you break these you can replace them no problem and you can just slide it in so don't worry about that nothing is broken here Nothing is broken here. These white pieces, they just clip into here. Here, here, and here. And the two bolts that were in the middle, they were holding the, the uh, button that uh, opens the trunk. And this is our camera here, held by two bolts. These are the license plate lights. So I'm gonna clean it right now. In order to remove this light, we have to pull it out and I'm gonna open the, the trunk feels like you're gonna break it but don't worry and that's it we pull this thing out as you see this is the part that was hardest because this is where it was like sitting in and it was kind of hard to pull so you have to open the trunk and kind of pull it and I start pulling it from this side but that was successful, no problem. All right, so let's look at our light. This is our original light, Toyota. It says Toyota here. This is our aftermarket, it says Toyota. We have everything the same. Everything is identical. All I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna transfer this light here. This one and this one, I'm gonna transfer it here. Also, I'm gonna transfer this piece that's gonna go here. 
these plastic pieces they're gonna go in here and uh, these are rubber ones so I'm also gonna install these but this uh, Valero aftermarket it's so good it's exactly like the same everything even the plastic looks exactly the same see it says housing ABS same thing on this one housing ABS in our lens everything looks great so we're gonna replace this cracked one with this one so let's compare it the last time before I install it this is the original it has these lines this is the aftermarket one it has this line even this top line, it, it looks identical. See, this one's kind of like clear. Same as this Valero one. There's a little round circle. This one also has a round circle. These two lines are like visible. And these two are kind of more clear. They did a very good job. It's like identical. There's absolutely, I don't see any difference. So let's swap the parts even the top plastic it's the same it's not super shiny like the the aftermarket from Amazon the plastics are identical in order to remove this kind of bolt with a star shape and a little thing in the middle you need to have this kind of tool much easier to, if you have all the right tools it's so easy to do this work got the right screwdriver the right uh, bits so much easy so I remove this piece and install it on a new daylight right here let's remove this one very easy just push it in now I'm gonna twist this Yep, twist this thing. And then this light comes out. Now this is the aftermarket T10. I already replaced it. So this is what I have. This is for the backup lights. The original one was just a halogen bulb. So I, I installed this one. But let's remove this also. you undo this wire or we can slide this white connector out you see this little pin this little thing sticking out we have to push it down on it with something sharp and then this will come out push it down on this connector and it came out like this now we can take our LED just twist it counterclockwise and our LED comes out this is our original LED that came with it and let me show you the aftermarket one that came through Amazon. This is the LED that came with this other brand. And this is LED that was with Toyota. So let me show you the difference. This is Toyota. And this is the one that came from Amazon. Also the one from Amazon doesn't come with a bulb so it's empty it does have LED connector is exactly the same this is exactly the same connector but I'm gonna reuse the original Toyota light uh, wiring on this so I'm gonna install it so take this LED light and sort of like this so I'm sort of like this and twist clockwise and it locks nice and tight nothing is vibrating very good now we're going to take this connector and we're going to slide it in into this pin push this wire into the bracket now align this and just push it in so push it in until it clicks into place now i had to use a little screwdriver to push this little pin down and then we'll just push this connector into place 
And as you see here, this wire is stuck to the side. It's in the bracket. And this one goes underneath. Goes underneath there, see? Right there. This bulb, we just insert it like this. Turn it clockwise. And now we're done. This is secured. This connector is properly sitting. This is also nicely sitting in place. Check if we have this piece right here. Make sure we have this plastic piece here. Make sure we have these uh, soft thingies. This one here and this one here. Last thing is make sure this screw right here, it's in place. Everything looks identical to this Toyota. It even has a Toyota sign. Toyota sign. The only difference. We don't have the stamp like this. It says Japan Ichiko. Ichiko. It has this Valero stamp. But this is a good brand. Much better than the one came from Amazon. Molding is even better on this one. So we're ready to install it. Before I do any installation, I'm just gonna spray this, clean this area. This is a glass cleaner. I'm gonna clean all this garbage out. I could finish installation, it started raining. So I pulled my car halfway into the garage. So I clean this area, make sure it's nice. It looks much better. Clean all this. Okay, looks like we're ready to install this light. Double check, this, this piece is in here. This rubber piece is in here. This piece is installed. Everything looks nice. And uh, we're just gonna align it with these three holes. And just push it into place. Make sure this rubber piece is sitting on the top. See, like this. All right, now we're good to secure these three bolts on the other side, from the inside. Remember, these are the three that we have to secure the light with. So that one is gonna go right here. The other one goes here. These bolts, they don't have to be super tight. I'm actually doing it by hand. Like this. Same thing with this one. And same thing with this one. That's it. We connect these connectors. Click, click, before you do final installation of this panel, turn on your headlights, make sure this light works. You can turn, uh, put the vehicle in reverse, and you can also check if the reverse light works, but I know for a fact this works. Everything looks good. You see this rubber piece is on the top like this. God, this light looks so good. It is exactly, exactly the same as Toyota. All right, now we can reinstall this piece. I also wanna show you, it perfectly aligns here. It looks good. See, same thing on this one. I highly recommend this brand. Valero Looks good All right, let's install this piece and we'll be done 
also gonna spray it, clean it. Okay, double check you have all these pins. Make sure you have these things. And this is where the bolts are gonna go to tighten this bracket or bolts. First gonna align these plastic pieces on the corners like this. And then on the top here, these white uh, clips, I'm gonna align with these holes. I align it here, I pushed it in. Same thing on this corner. And now align these and just push them in. Now make sure also this rubber piece stays on the top. See how it's actually dipped on the inside? Make sure this rubber piece goes on the top of this plastic. And we're good. I'm just gonna secure these bolts. I take these long bolts and we're gonna secure that bracket. I'm gonna start in the middle here. Where is it? Uh, that hole and that hole. I'm gonna put this bolt in there. I already put these bolts through here. See, it's right there. These two as well. They're tight. I just did them by hand. Don't over tighten these. That's it, it's snug. Same thing with this one. It's right there. It's snug already. And then the last one, same thing. And then the last bolt is also snug. Don't over tighten these bolts. So the light is properly installed, it's secured. This bracket also properly installed. I pushed it in. We started at this corner, clip here, then clip here. Align everything, but make sure this rubber piece stays on the top, same as here, it goes over the light. And we're done. All we have to install the inner panel. But uh, I'll tell you, this looks so nice. You cannot tell the difference. Everything matches all the little lines and everything. Even these lines right here. Tiny lines. Everything matches. Including this little light. Uh, this little like a uh, dimple. Perfect. Also verify this. There's a space here. Same amount. Same space like here on the, on the left side. See a little space. So everything looks factory. The only difference is this little name, Valeo. That's it. Before we install this panel, double check that these pieces are inserted. There's one here, 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 here. And remember, if you lose them, you can always buy them in the auto store. Okay, let's align this thing. Before we put this panel, Check all these connectors are good. Uh, I want to show you this. Look how easy it is to work on Toyota. This is your windshield wiper motor, secured by three bolts. One connector, so easy to replace it. Also, there's an access to the lock. You can replace that, very easy. I don't know what this is, some kind of sensor. But everything is, Easy, accessible, and easy to replace. Align everything and just start hitting it. All right, it's good. Now we're gonna install these handles. Secure these four bolts. One here, one here. Tighten them. Come 
one last one. Install these pieces on this side. All right, the handles are done. These pieces, make sure these clips are in place. Just align them with this hole and with this hole. And also, there's this notch here. Make sure these plastic pieces are here, these little pins. And we're just gonna install it. See, you cannot install it, you cannot install it this way. It has to be this way. We're done. The panel is installed, the light is installed, everything is installed, everything looks great. So let me show you again, comparison, original one that's broken, the plastic is exactly the same, not too bright, not too shiny, everything perfect, even these lines, I'm telling you the only difference is this sign, which is on the inside, you can't even see. So this Toyota, my Toyota is from Japan. So what I think happened is this light and this aftermarket might be different because I'm more than sure this is from American made or like Canada doesn't have these little lines and the Japanese version, it has it. I don't know, that could be it. Um, so make sure you, before you order light, make sure it's the right light, if it's a Japan built or not. And here's how you can tell. Look to the front of the vehicle and you see if it's a letter J, that is Japan built. Also, when you open the driver's side door, you see it says made in Japan. That's what I think. I think this was made like the American made or Canada. And this one is Japan made. Maybe that's why. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, that could be the little difference. So thank you for watching Nazareth's channel. Now you know how to replace your inner tail light that's on the lift gate. Um, I'm very happy that I was able to do it, saved a lot of money, and you can also save a lot of money doing it yourself. I paid for this light with shipping $56. I've seen some of them cheaper, but I wouldn't go cheaper. Uh, this brand Valeo it's very good brand they make a lot of lights the company is well known and the aftermarket Amazon one you can hit or miss so it's your choice um, I hope uh, the video was helpful and I hope you enjoy it hit the thumbs up like subscribe and any comment put them below and I'll see you in the next video